Welcome y'all, it's Wes with DIY Food Plot Pro. Thanks so much for joining us. Today we're talking about the death of many food plotters. What causes it? Failure. Failure causes many food plotters to quit, to try things that are easier, have better results, easier success. It's something that we all struggle with. Nobody wants to spend a lot of time and effort and money on a food plot and not get good hunting, not get a good return uh, on that time and, and money invested in that food plot. So I'm out standing in one of my standing corn food plots. Hope you can see that. We've got a good ear. You can see where my hand is. It's um, We're in good shape. We have been blessed with a lot of rain this summer. We were dry early, but we started getting rain later on when it really mattered. I've got about 26 to 28,000 of these. Now this is very early on, obviously. This is just uh, at what they would call blister, where these are still full of liquid. I hope you saw that pop, it popped towards me. And then we're gonna be at maturity before you know it. But this is where my corn is at right now. You know, you can see it looks good. It's a 10, 11 inch ear, but that wasn't the case down here last year. In this plot last year, we got very little rain all summer long. Most of this burned up. My ears down here were about that long. Two, three, four inches at the most. It was really, really, really poor, poor corn down here last year. And it sucked. It absolutely sucked. I hated it. I hated coming down here and looking at it. I thought to myself, man, I've spent all this time, all this money, all this energy on this food plot, and now it's failed. It's not done what I wanted to do, but that is part of the food plotting process. Sometimes mother nature is a cruel, mean old lady, and that's just what it amounts to. If you don't get the range, these kind of food plots here are not going to do well. What I would strive for you to do is to not give up. When we start giving up and we start looking at easier options with better success i think we're giving a lot of things up when we do that there's definitely a lot of plots that are a lot easier than say the corn the soybeans the alfalfa some of those really difficult plots there's a lot of them that are easier but i won't say they're better i don't know anybody that i've ever talked to and i've talked to an awful lot of hunters that said man you know that standing cornfield food plot that i had was a disappointment have you ever heard anybody say that? Drop that in the comments below if you have. I've never experienced that. If I've had standing corn, it's been phenomenal hunting. And that's just all it amounts to. Now, if you flip that token over, have you ever heard anybody say they didn't eat my clover during hunting season? They didn't eat my brassicas during hunting season? My food plot just wasn't as well used as what I hoped it would be. I think a bunch of us could say that we've heard that. It's just something that I wanted to kind of talk over with you guys. I know there's a lot of you that are super frustrated that have started following this channel and you didn't get the results that you wanted this year, but you're setting yourself up for a year when mother nature cooperates with you. She will eventually cooperate with you. And when you get that success of growing a successful plot, that's one of the hardest ones to raise. You're going to be so proud of that. But beyond that, you're going to have some phenomenal hunting. That's what it's all about, is having the most preferred food source during the hunting season. And I want to reiterate that I'm not dogging clover or brassicas or, or any other food plot. Most all those food plots have a place, but when I'm looking for a standalone food plot system, this is the backbone right here. It is hard to beat standing corn when it starts cooling down. Sorry guys, had to leave the cornfield down in the bottom. The iPhone said temperature too hot, cannot use anymore and shut off. So I had to try to find a shady spot. I mean, it's only a hundred degrees here in West Kentucky. I don't know what the iPhone's problem is. Um, you will find that success eventually, planting your food plots over many years, you'll find that success. This is an old quote that still rings true today, and it rings true for a lot of us food plotters. President Eisenhower said, and he said that farming looks mighty easy when your pencil is the plow and you're a thousand miles away from a cornfield. And that it rings so true to food plotting and just how difficult this is, because in all reality, you're farming, but your farming is 10 times more difficult than what we farm on our other types of ground because our other type of ground we don't have to worry so much about crows about turkeys about deer eating it up those are things that in a big setting a big agricultural setting farmers like me don't worry about that on our big plots we've got 35 40 acres in one field they're not going to eat it all okay they might eat a little bit around the edges those are issues that food plotters exclusively face that most of the time us farmers never even think about facing the reality of it is is farming is super difficult 
but farming food plots is even more difficult way more difficult you don't have the equipment that they do you don't have those large acres that they do on the best ground you're on marginal soil so you've got a lot of disadvantages that the farmers uh, have working their way and and farming is extremely difficult so for your food plots to fail when you're trying to establish one it's a very difficult thing to do guys it, it's not something that just comes super easy there's always a curveball being thrown at you in these food plots but don't give up keep going at them keep trying keep learning and it's just like anything else with enough practice you are going to be a food plot pro there's no question about it you think about what all you took from this year you learn from it for next year and you continue doing that you build upon that you build upon that and then eventually these plots are going to come mighty easy to you and the only curveball that's going to be thrown at you is is the mother nature curveball and that's something that we all can't do anything about so thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it smash that like and subscribe button if you haven't already